Oh my God, look what the cat dragged in. Living my life for the video autopsy. What's going on, everybody? What's going on, guys? I hope you're doing well out there. Let's talk about poison cover bands. I think I'm going to get into this. Who is the greatest cover bands of all time? And I've got four definite uh, uh, ch champion level uh, uh, cover bands, poison cover bands. Here, it is difficult, man, to say we're going to take someone's entire catalog of music. It's one thing to be a cover band where you go, well, we'll play a little ACDC, we'll play a little Guns N' Roses, we'll play a little bit of this. But when you do like a Kiss cover band or a Poison cover band or whatever, and you go, no, we are going balls deep into this band. We are going to do them from beginning to end. We're going to put together a concert. We're going to pretend to be these people. And then what's fascinating is they actually go out and they, they do gigs and they make money uh, and they, they do it. So I thought, well, I found four of them and I thought we would go over and look at them. I have my, my, my opinion here because I feel like you have to do the Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Now, not all of these bands put that up on, on the interwebs for people to watch because maybe it's painful. Um, and I'm not saying that the one that I have here is not painful, but what I am saying is that is the creme de la creme that tells you, is this a good poison band? If they're able to pull off, every rose has a sword. Anyone can do talk dirty to me. Um, and another thing that I've noticed is um, the majority, and I've watched probably, oh, I'd say 15 to 20 uh, poison cover bands uh, just looking for video for this and I'm telling you most of them if not damn near all of them either go there's no way I'm going to look like M Brett Michaels but I would say 90% of them look like new Brett Michaels he's got the, the cowboy hat the bandana under the cowboy hat the cutoff t-shirt the mannerisms and all of that. Most of them go that route. They say, hey, I look good in the jeans. I, I, I really like wearing the bandana and the cowboy hat. It's also amazing to me that uh, for the most part, the majority of the drummers are like, yeah, I'm not going to dress up uh, much at all. Um, some of them wear wigs. Some of them put on the makeup. Some of them have the hats and scarves and, and such. Um, and this band, this band right here, they're called um, Poisonous. Kind of a play on words, Poisonous or Poison Us. And uh, they're doing a little talk dirty to me right here. Let's hear some of that. <laughs> This guy right here, they said, okay, you know, first off, we have to have poison t-shirts on. But this guy said, well, find me a little wig. He's not a, as as uh, as grandiose as C.C. DeVille, so he's just like, you know, this is probably, you know, just kind of a weekend gig situation for him. There's another band I have lined up here that this is what they do, uh, as far as we know, as far as they're letting us know on the internet. In fact, they even have a video where they're on their tour bus going, hey, it's life as a poison cover band. And maybe I should find that. I, 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 I'll, maybe I'll look that up. I don't know. These guys are from Australia, down under, right? And uh, this guy's not going. He's like, dude, I'll put a headband on, but that's about it. Let's give another taste of these guys. He does have the mannerisms. He definitely has the mannerisms of Brett Michaels. And I would dare say he's one of the closest in 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 the four that I have lined up that, that looks like a Brett Michael. Do the leggy leggy shake. This guy looks like CeCe DeVille in the face, but not everything else is just kind of like, yeah, I'm just a... Just a rockin' dude. 
These guys have other things going on. This drummer back here, he's he he wants to be at home playing Rush covers. Oh, look at this guy down here. He's having a good time. This is Saturday night for this fella. And they're called Poisonous, so you can see their banner. And that's the thing, too, is some of them, the most of them go the full Monty. They put money into having banners and, and stuff like that. So let's go on to uh, Shot of Poison. These guys are doing, I want action tonight. But it started with a big, long, old solo. They go, hey, how you doing? And then the guitar player went off for a big-ass solo. So here we are in the song. And obviously, look at that crowd. They're playing a state fair. They're doing something. And why is this guy actually... Is that sunglasses he's wearing? He's filming the other guy filming. Maybe this is one of those situations where they're getting double angles or triple angles or whatever. But... Uh, Let's hear some I want action from Shot of Poison. It's this guy's deal. He's not even going for he's not even going for the look. He's like, dude, I'm Pearl Jam circa, you know, 1993, dude. I ain't doing that. Cause this guy's got the hat on. That's a lot of people. Shot of poison. And there you go, another one, going for that older Brett Michaels look. I mean, they got the light up screen and shit, though. Oh, this guy's got the, that guy's got the uh, see-through drums. I got a bat, seven, titty, pies. Look at that. Jesus, shot of poison. When they put it on the bass drum... It means I'm in, I'm all in, guys. I don't do anything else. I don't play in any other bands. I don't rock out. I am in Shot of Poison. Very clever names, too. Poisonous, Shot of Poison. And he's got, not only does he have the clear drum set, but he's also got the clear rototoms up there. This guy is a connoisseur. But see, he wants to be playing Rush, too. He's like, dude, I'm down for Rush, bro. I need a shot. Yeah, this guy's gone. Yeah, it's... I, dude, I'm not going to put a wig on. I will not put a wig on. This concert I'd be seeing along. Look at this old guy down here. Ethel and and Fred are going. Geez, I'm having a gay old time. I'm having a pretty good time. Yeah, they're having a they're having a good time. Let's look at this right here. There's a camera set up. And there's another guy up here. Is he like a who killed Abraham Lincoln? Is that one of those situations going on there? And look at the amps. Everything says poison, shot of poison. That takes commitment. I'm putting I'm I am taking the stencil out. I am spray painting that onto the onto the 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 the, the, the amps and shit, man. We're we're in this full board. All right, that's enough of them. So, shot of poison and poison us. And then I get a kick out of these guys right here. This is a uh, fallen angel. And what song do you think they're going to do? Here's another one where there was a big long solo beforehand. There's one of these bands that these poison cover bands where they literally do a guitar solo to start the whole show. It's like, why? That's weird, but I love these guys. Look at this. Fallen angel. <laughs> They, get, they found the font for poison font. Oh, oh. Look at this guy. He's like, oh my god, he looks like um, an albino or something. He's just like, yeah.
I mean, they're they're kind of they're 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 called fallen angel, right? But they're just not completely, you know, whatever. Does he sound like him at all? Hi, happy. There's Bob Bobby Doll. He's probably called, you know, Bobby Smalls or something like that. Jesus, sorry to be rubbing in that spot. That was weird. Is that a little Superman tattoo he's got there? On your mama's TV screen. Did he just flub the words? I think he goofed the words there. He forgot. And the day gets hot and the lights get long up. TV screen. Such a good actress hiding all the pain. Trading her memories for fortune and fame, pal. We might have to watch more of these guys. Oh, is this guy having a hard time remembering the words? Has he got suffered from dementia? I forget. Heads a win. Tails you gotta lose. Win big. He knows those words. Look at the paunch on this guy. Harry, where is your... I mean, look at the... They're playing... Is that a ghost? Is that a demon? How crazy would that be? These two people are like, yeah, I'm up in the balcony... In a booth seat situation, what did they call those? And there's a demon that haunts the, the the theater. I mean, they're playing big places, and there's a lot of people going to see it. Look at that demon! Oh my like, that's a goddamn demon standing there! Oh my God, I think we're witnessing something. How many hamburgers do you think he had for lunch? A little hole. Oh. Hello. What's your name? Yeah, these women are like, we know them. We're going to stand on the front stage, in front of the stage, because we knew the poison guys. So we will authenticate your performance. Fallen Angel, yeah. We're big. Do sit-ups. Do some squats. Rolling the last of her life. Too soon, too soon. Just a little too late. Look at that. What the hell's that paunching out there? Is that, is that his, um... Uh, what do you call that? I had the surgery for it. Not a hemorrhoid, but a hernia. Is that a hernia? Is that... I mean, that's kind of weird looking, right? Where's it go? The guy literally wore the same jeans. He got off work. Construction, guaranteed. All these guys, they work in construction. Framing. I'm a framer. And he went, no, th these jeans are perfect. I put on my poison t-shirt. 
I got my jeans on, I got my wig, it was sitting back there next to my helmet, my hard hat. Oh shit, look at this. They've went the full Monty on the uh, the image there. Look, it's got all their faces. This guy right here is this guy. Look, we've got the technologies. We can do this. This fellow right here is this fellow right here. How many times do you think he stares at that and goes, that's me. That's me. I'm in Fallen Angel, for Christ's sake. It says it right there. Fallen Angel. When big mama's falling in. Anyways. Dude, look at this. That is, that is a, that is a hernia. I mean, that is bigger than that. That's a hernia, bro. Go get that checked out. order of these guys you know I haven't picked a one two three on these but I know who my number one is Mama's an angel who's big living on the nice. that might even be his real hair so I kind of figured that this dude right here is probably the 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 guy that's going for it. Well, if you're in a poison cover band, you are, and and they're saying you're Brett Michael, then you are the, the the main one. But the number one, the be all end all, you know, I I can't find good versions of uh, every rose has its thorn. But that will break down whether you are the greatest poison cover band of all time or you are not. And poison overdose are the greatest band of all time. And this weird old lady, she's just standing up there the whole song. Then there's this weird click in the middle of it. It cuts out part of the song. But let's watch this. Look at me, I'm the star. I'm going on, look at me. I'm gonna be up here all night. Don't we love those girlfriends that do that? I love that this, there's, a, there's a scene here where they shoot a pop, smoke popper. And it's like, why do that? Look at this. Who's shooting the smoke poppers right now? This is Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Kevin, I've told you a thousand times if I've told you once. You don't do the smoke poppers during Every Rose. It's the romantic tune. He does it again, too, I think. Shoots another smoke popper. Look at it. I'm going to hit another smoke popper the minute he starts with We Both Lay Silently Still in the Dead of the Night. These guys got a big sign back there, too. Poison Overdose. And then you've got Matilda over here going, Oh, yeah, I ain't going anywhere. Look at me. Uh -huh. I love this guy singing in the audience. Is this guy looking for, like, when are we going to be done with this so I can get another uh, little extra boost, as they, they say? You know, drugs. Wow, the city. Look at Matilda back here. Aren't I sexy? Oh. What I like about this guy's style, and I and, and I've seen other videos from Poison Overdose, so. And I will tell you this, I am not sure that he's actually, he's playing it, I feel like he's playing the guitar this time, but I did see a few other ones where it almost seemed like they were firing up an acoustic version, and he was just kind of strumming along, because his fingering on the, on the fretboard did not seem correct to me. But I am not a guitar player, and look at Matilda back here. 
It's my night. It's not Poison Overdose. I bet she's the drummer's girlfriend. And they're just like, dude, why does she have to get up on stage drunk every single time? And this drummer back here, maybe they'll get a better shot of him, but he can't stop spinning the drumsticks for nothing. This guy's a smiley guy. CC Smiley. Uh huh. Oh. 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 I love this jacket too. He's like, what is a, what is the Levi jacket supposed to look like? I mean, for like hard rock. Well, it needs a, a few spikes on it. It needs a flaming skull. And then you need to find uh, on the back of it, it's got the open up and say, ah, patch. So he's like, so, you know, find a couple buttons if you can. A few spikes and a flaming skull and you'll be good. Oh, and a Rolling Stones patch, too. All the kids that, that listen to Poison love the Rolling Stones, so if you can find that, that's great, too. I'm up on stage. Aren't I great? Aren't I great? The only way she's allowed to be up on that stage is if she doesn't know anyone there, and they're going, yeah, we want to take her back to the tour bus. How many uh, mojitos have you had tonight? See, now there's the there's the weirdness. Someone's filming this for their 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 duties. And it had nothing to do with Matilda because she's still up there when it comes back. Like, so it wasn't like a bar fight or anything. And this guy is just a smiley guy. In every video I've seen of Poison Overdose, he is just a happy guy. He's probably the nicest one out of the bunch. He's just like, oh no, let's let, let Matilda stay up and dance. It's fine. It's fine. You can touch my guitar. Pull the strings. I will dance until the very last note of this song. What's up with those jeans, too? You know, people talk about those jeans all the time, and they say, they're made to look that way. But it's just like, it is really trendy, right? To get jeans that that you could take out and drag behind your car for eight, nine miles and then put them on. It's almost an outfit for like a drunken lady at a bar. No what to say. Hey! Look at her. Instead of me, she does the shuffle to the floor. Me love. Harvey back there on the drums. Yeah. Tonight's the night. Shimmy down. Uh -huh. yeah. This is like, this song has so many thorns in it because this would be miserable to have to play every night. I loved that song when I first heard it, now I cannot stand it. But I love it when Poison Overdose does it. They're going, let's get some of Matilda. How many, how many mojitos do you think she's had? 
usually if you get up there and you dance around, you know, well, the concerts I go to, you get up there, you stay, you, you, you freak out real hard and you jump off it back into the audience. She's like, oh, no, this is my jam. I'm getting up. I'm staying up. I will not be taken off the stage. And I think they do take her off the stage. Now someone says, come and get her. There he is. See, he's got the open up and say ah patch on the back of his jacket. And it's crooked. So what do you have on Levi jackets? Like, well, I, you know, I told you, the Flaming Skull, Rolling Stones patch, couple spikes. And then you put the poison, open up and say ah. And she's going, I want to talk to you after the gig. And I think, watch this, I think someone grabs her and goes, honey, they're about to do Talk Dirty to Me and end the show. It's time for you to get off the stage. You're so great. Yeah. Come on, honey. Get off. Get your ass off. Make sure she get it. Oh, shit. I wanted to get that drummer there. The drag her off. Come on, honey cakes. He's going, hey, make sure she gets back to the trailer because I want to talk to her about something special. Uh, but what say you? Did you think those are the top of the best, the best of the, the, the list of poison cover bands? Feed me all your goodies, your nummies, your yummies, and show me other ones. You can uh, put it down in the comments below and say, check out this band called This, and let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Let's find the best poison cover band of all time. Can we do that? Let's do that. Uh, that's all I got. Like, comment, subscribe. Be my friend. I love you so damn much, and I'll talk to you again soon. Mm. Oh my God, look what the cat dragged in. Living my life for 